Hello, YouTube. This is Jordan White. Um, this is not an official G on the Spectrum episode. I'm kind of saving that to be an, an actual Christmas or holiday themed episode. I am ready for Christmas and the holidays. I mean, this is Home Alone. Like, I, this is my, one of my favorite movies of all time. And yes, uh, I I did vote. This is just a second like saying I voted in the, uh, in the in the runoff uh, election of where I am, but uh, it's not important. I'm here today because you're going to be getting a unique insight into me reacting to something incredibly unique. It's called Project Tiger Moth. And what's Project Tiger Moth? It's a it's a two years in the making effort by a group of dedicated fans making an actual model series Thomas the Tank Engine episode. Yeah, Thomas the Tank Engine. That was like, well, that's like my, I was like my favorite show when I was a kid. And I just watched the heck out of those VHS tapes. Oh, let me tell you, I even played with the toys. There's even footage of me playing with the Thomas the Tank Engine toys. See? There's me! There's little me! <laughs> oh, look how cute I was! <laughs> okay. Oh, so, um, I'm going to be doing a live reaction to this dedicated fan effort. I mean, I, I don't really expect it to be perfect, you know, because this is to, this is, hasn't really been attempted in like 15 years. You see, um, uh, I I started uh, getting into Thomas when I was a little kid, and I and I really seemed to enjoy it. But when it started to go into season eight onwards, the story started to get more dumbed down and less sophisticated, and it got more geared towards kids or something like that, trying to get that little fast-paced energy going on. And by the time it kind of went to CGI, I uh. I quit watching the show altogether because, you know, I'm just, uh, I was such a guy who was a, a big traditionalist and stuff, such. So, uh, so I moved on to different, uh, interests. And then My Little Pony got my interest in the 2010s. And then I kind of left that, well, when I got experienced career difficulties. And, uh, then I started to, started to gain other interests. Like, like, actually wanted to make my own thing. And that's probably one of the reasons why you see Roaring Bear on this YouTube channel. I'm just pretty proud of how it turned out. Uh, I'd like to definitely thank uh, Alejandro Reyes G. And I'd like to thank uh, my friend So So Eliza for putting together all the animation. Thank you, guys. You did such a great job. All right. So, uh, so Project Tiger Moth, a model series pilot made by YouTubers, well, a dedicated group of Thomas and Tangigen fans, appropriately titled, The Good Old Days. <laughs> well, it's definitely going to be the good old days for me. You're probably going to get to see a unique experience of me reacting to, um, how Thomas and Tangigen was for me when I was a kid. But... I'm not a kid anymore. I mean, just look at me. I, uh, look at the beard. Look at the, uh, I'm like 31. I'm going to turn 32 next year. I, there's only so long I could go before I start to show the wrinkles. <laughs> or maybe even the gray hairs. I'm not sure, but uh, it's, it might not be the, the exact same for me just uh, as a kid versus seeing a new Miles series episode as an adult. But I can only uh, I can only experience. Let's see what uh, Project, Project Tiger Moth has to offer, aka the good old days. You know, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be starting to dance the theme. I mean, there's clue glasses, Thomas. So I'm gonna be start dancing to the theme. Okay, here we go. <laughs> and then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is play play at my funeral. Okay. Man, 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 man
adapted from the vision of David Mitten. And uh, the good old day. Da, da. <laughs> oh, that's a, guess, that's a big kickback for me. <laughs> no way by Robert McGee. Directed by Jacob Joey. Ooh. Wow, that's a great shot. I'm like, I'm gonna answer that shot. Alright, let's see what you got to say. Uh, you always do, you stuck up knob. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got stock footage of the old model shows. And then Sir Top Hat took you on the railways. I'm not. I'm not sure if he can. I'm not. Sh I'm not sure if that can happen. Well, try asking Thomas that. He has his own branch line. Yeah, I definitely want something to do, man. I'll be able to collect Sir Tottenham Hat early, and you'll have some work to do. Toby oh. will be excited when the extension is news to him. Come on, Toby. <laughs> stock footage. Look, there's stock footage. What is that, an actual model? He's now beaming with joy. He reversed onto the train of supplies and set off for the work site. Uh, okay, nice stack model work. He couldn't stop thinking about the glory he was at. Hey! Oh yes, that's a great shot! Nice job of capturing that shot! Where's Thomas? I'm exhausted. Wait. He'll be here soon. But we must remind him about the Are you sure you've made the are you sure we made the miles? What's the problem? Before the driver can answer, Toby must have heard. Oh here are the building supplies, Percy. And this Toby, what are you doing here? <laughs> Come on. Is there anything else I can do to help? Percy eyed the long line of tables, full of the smell from Keegan. You can take those cars back to the yard for me. Okay. Okay. All right, I'll do. Well, then be careful, man. How far can he even go? Uh, 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 come on, come on. Oh, uh, ha, 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 ha. Uh, just great, great effects. Oh, da 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 Wait a second. Wait a second. It could be possible. You're on your old branch line. You're on your old branch line. You're on your old branch line. Are you alright, Toby? Toby was a bubbling with excitement. Percy, this is my old tramway. There's my old shed. I never thought I'd see it again. Oh, good old days. Okay. I'm sorry, sir, but I only wanted to help. I'm aware of that. I'm just glad to see you're safe. It's a shame you spoiled the surprise. Toby was confused. By surprise, sir? Sir Thomas Hatt smiled. Yes, Toby. Our new extension is in fact a restoration. Our restoring and connecting your tramway with the main line and Thomas's branch line. 
Oh, yeah! Let's go! That's a great camel work we see here. Uh, I'm so amazed at this. <laughs> Good old days are here again. Oh, <laughs> that was wonderful. What? They shot this in Oki? Oklahoma? God bless you, David Mitten. Well, that was amazing. Well, I definitely know uh, who I can call for uh, the VFX for uh, for a music video or a commercial. Or, uh, uh, can it get good enough to where they could do VFX for a feature film? I mean, uh, you know what? I want them to work on VFX. Cool. I want them to do my VFX. You know why? Because Marvel's VFX right now are going... <sighs> and the fans are noticing it. Like, Marvel VFX... <sighs> Stop trying to destroy the illusion for us. I mean, you, they never shoot in New York. They always shoot in my home turf of Atlanta. <sighs> well... I gotta admit, that's, it looks, that's, I mean, it's, I mean, it looks kind of cheap, but it's still better with VFX and just destroying illusion with just constant CGI of just, boom, 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 and just over us, over designed CG that you see in the Marvel movies. Wow, those, those are, those things are so stocked up with the marketplace, I cannot believe it. I mean, Someone's got to make much better VFX. And I presume that uh, once these guys get real good enough, I can get them to do VFX for me. All right. This is Jordan White. Um, I'll see you soon. And uh, next video is my Christmas Day on the Spectrum. All right. See you. Bye.